What's up you guys, it's Alan and I'm back. Today I'm going to be raffling out my sneakers that I told you about in my previous vlog. Uh, I was raffling them out to be able to make red for the month and I got all the slots filled. Shout out to everybody who participated just to support me and also everybody else who just participated. Thank you so much. That, that really means a lot to me. So for the raffle I'm going to be using this random name uh, generator. It's going to pick. I've entered all the names right there. Right, so I'm going to be going live right now on Instagram and I'm going to pick one winner who then gets to pick any of the three options that we already laid out in the raffle. What's up, what's up? Uh, nothing exciting happening on this live video. It's just the raffle that I'm going to be pulling out. Man, I'll tell you one thing though, I'm not doing any more raffles. This was so stressful. I'll just try selling my pairs outright if I can. Uh, that's for the next month's rent at least but yeah i can't do any more of these right so i was trying to decide between the random name generator and then the circle of names or whatever whatever these things are called i don't know the reason i didn't pick up the random name generator is because it doesn't really give people with multiple slots an advantage uh, whereas this wheel gives them an advantage because they could be on either side depending on the number that they picked Okay, uh, I am gonna show you guys the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, so one go, that's all the names that are there. Click to spin, three, two, one, go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! <laughs> Okay, not gonna lie, Sahil is a friend of mine. Okay, I mean, that's the raffle. Uh, I guess I'm gonna end this live here. I'll see you guys on the... No, there's not gonna be another raffle. But I'll see you guys around soon. So then, that was the raffle. It, it was... I mean, if you noticed, uh, I kind of froze up uh, when the results were announced because Sahil's a friend and I wasn't expecting him to win. Although a lot of my friends like Karan and Paul and Joby participated, I didn't think uh, it would be that weird. So yeah, anyway, so what Sahil decided was to uh, flip, pick the Belu girls and he's asked me to help him flip them and give him the cash. So that's what I'm doing. So these are the sneakers, static. I maintain my hairs really well actually. That's because I have so many I don't wear them as often. This is the this is the red stripe. I uh, want a little more than the static, but still in pretty mint good condition. I would call it mint condition. And then of course you have your Beluga 1.0. The funniest thing is that I have kept this extra box and you know bubble wrap handy on me. Because I was gonna ask the winner which pair do you want me to ship it out to you. I was gonna pack, double box it, uh, and send it to the winner uh, when I was on live, uh, Instagram live. But then I saw Sahil's name and I'm like, ah man. And then I called him up and I was like, congrats, what do you wanna do? And he's like, let's do that. So that's that. Do you know how a lot of people talk about sneakerheads paying their rent money to buy sneakers? Now, I've never paid exorbitantly high amounts to buy sneakers at resale, they've always been like a couple of K more than Indian retail. But this time I actually sold a sneaker to pay the rent, not the other way around. So it actually came in handy. Anyway, right after the live video, I got a shipment in from the guys at Levi's. There you have it. I already slice it open. I have put up stories on my Instagram. If you aren't already following me on Instagram, you should. So this package is uh, the collab with Super Mario. So they did an entire collection, they had truckers and overalls as well, just like uh, Mario and Luigi would wear. It's a me. Anyway, so I got a pair of 501 shorts and a polo. Let me take you guys through it really quickly. So first in is this green, all green polo, synonymous with Luigi's color. I think they also have a red polo for Mario. Uh, it's nothing much, it's a basic green polo and then you have Luigi right there with the Levi's Batwing it's a patch 
uh, and then obviously your buttons are concealed so that's a nice uh, head so now I picked up an XL in this t-shirt so every other brand like Carhartt or Stussy or Supreme Palace etc I wear a size L uh, but in Levi's I need to wear an XL because they're kind of really snug and fit so I picked up an XL polo I would also recommend you guys if you're tall to go up a size because these polos are kind of short, not like your regular t-shirts that are oversized, not like a streetwear, you know, or maybe I'm just not used to uh, wearing proper polos. So yeah, basic Luigi polo, and I think I'd wear this a lot more than I would wear a Mario polo because the Mario ones are red. It's an interesting thing, these shorts are actually short shorts, um, not like hot pants shorts, but um, I think it says somewhere too, I don't remember where I saw it. Right, it says so right here on this card. Tips at waist, extra short. So I usually uh, wear 502s, I think. I've never owned a pair of 501 shorts. And the 502 shorts usually end mid knee for me. Uh, but these already look short. So I think they'll just be at the top of the knee again because I have short legs. Enough of that. Let's go through the details of these shorts. Man, insane, insane detailing. Uh, to begin with, the patch. You can see it's got the Super Mario branding here, it's got the mushroom and the, what's that, the star on the Levi's patch. Obviously you have Super Mario branding and the tab here is yellow, you usually have like a red or orange tab right there. Uh, this massive ass mushroom on the other pocket, <laughs> I think I'm going to get rid of that and probably uh, get rid of this patch, it's too delicious for my butt but I love the Super Mario patch you have this coin sticking out of the coin pocket somebody's very punny at the Levi's design team huh a lot more interesting things actually so the pocket lining has this entire artwork of the mushroom kingdom the Super Mario universe and then you have your 501 branding right here this is like a rubberized print it feels so nice to the touch and i think by far the best detail that's something that everybody's not gonna see but it's for you to know are the buttons man so the 501 shorts are a button fly just look at those buttons and even the main button is gold like on the coin freaking freaking love it Anyway, uh, that's about it. I'm gonna try these on to show you what they fit me like. It's uh, me again asking you to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Alright, that's getting uh, a little boy. I'll see you in the next one, you guys. Peace. in the last four months where we are outdoors current with some heat staple pigeon dunks undefeated 90s man my glasses are getting fogged up coffee for the first time beyond our living room yeah, i can smell it <laughs>